Narad, you've been here since the beginning, since Oroville started, during the ashram, your new mother. Has Oroville succeeded? Oroville is in the process of succeeding. You see, Oroville is a microcosm of the entire world. The mother, in fact, said that she had brought all types to Oroville, good and bad, dark and light, if you will, because she needed representatives of all aspects of humanity to be worked on and worked out in Oroville. So you could say it's a crucible of the new world. When it succeeds, and I say when, not if, then this ideal of human unity can be replicated throughout the world. Well, it sounds like a new world order. Some people are quite suspicious about it. They don't want to lose their traditions and cultures. And Mother spoke about having pavilions of all the nations where their culture, art, music, dance, everything would be preserved. For example, if you wanted to learn Japanese, you wouldn't just study with a Japanese teacher, but you could live in the entire environment of Japan. Its dress, its music, its art, the beauty of, of the Japanese culture and 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 their refined sense of aesthetic beauty. Well, if we were to see Oroville as an example of the way the world could be, that would suggest that everywhere is multiracial and multicultural, because that's what Oroville is. Yes. It would mean indigenous people no longer own their their territory. Well, you see, Oroville belongs to no one in particular. Mother was very clear about that. No one owns anything in Oroville. And if that's to be an example for the world, then you're suggesting that's how the world could be? Yes, it may take a long, long time. But greed, power lust, the utilization of money for evil, ends, wars, etc., must be transformed into the utilization of money for a divine purpose, a higher purpose. In fact, my Mother said there should be no money exchanged in Oroville. Each one would receive according to his needs and give according to his capacities. And in reality, we're seeing a, a tourist trade generating a lot of income, and I guess it's corrupting this vision that Mother had. You see, we we'll go back to what Mother said about bringing all types in there. It has to be worked out. I wouldn't say corrupting because that exists all over the world, but it has to be transformed into a higher, and vaster synthesis of harmony, beauty, and truth. It all sounds so beautiful, but I, I worry also about tribal areas specifically in India, or I worry about the mass exodus of refugees that we see from all the war zones, Iraq and Afghanistan, and I worry that these are part of this new world order to mix all the races together and make people rootless. There is that angle to to Oroville. The villagers in Oroville, Tamil Nadu, outnumber all others from all different nations. They have their own culture and we have a great harmony uh, of working with them that has been built up over 40-something years. And so there are village action committees where Oravillians work closely with villagers. Uh, 
never to obliterate anyone's culture, but but to let's say integrate all cultures into a higher working. So Oroville in some sense must be an extension of the ashram. There's an Aurobindo ashram in Pondicherry, but yet I understand they went different ways or had a conflict at some point. No, I can explain better to you uh, than that. A friend of mine asked the mother, what is the difference between the ashram and Oroville? And the mother said, the ashram will always be there for those who wish to do the integral yoga of Sri Aurobindo. And Oroville, mother said, it is so wide. So it's beyond the Aurobindo. Not beyond. You are right in that it's an extension, but it allows for so much more, uh, shall we say, possibility amongst peoples who are not necessarily practicing the integral yoga. You know, I'm amazed at how well resourced everything is there. All the products they make are, are very good quality and pioneering and there's a lot of entrepreneurial spirit there in Oroville. There's a lot of business acumen going on, isn't there? Very true, very true. And the village people are very much involved in it also handicrafts, uh, weaving, and all of the different artistic endeavors. I feel like someone's secretly pumping in millions into Oroville. Actually, it's just the opposite. Oroville is... Uh, funding is, is not so much. And Orovillians are having to do with what they can, what they can generate through their creativity, through their uh, individual efforts. I've seen some uh, people that have graduated from school, more or less being born within Oroville or in the villages. They seem extremely well balanced and well educated. My daughter built the high school in Oroville, has been the head of the high school for nearly 20 years. And both of my grandsons were born in Oroville. One will be 17, the other 16 this year. So, yes, Oroville children are very special. Now, you run, if that's the right word, uh, choirs. You, 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 that's your thing. You, you, you create choirs, you guide the choirs in Oroville. We have, a, we have an own choir in Oroville, which you attended, in which we aspire to bring down a new music that has not been on earth before. That was the work the mother gave me in 1961, to bring down a new music, to go far above words and bring down the pure music. We have a, an own choir in the ashram on Friday evenings also. In addition to that, I'm now working with a new choir singing composed music of a higher nature, of some of the modern composers are receiving at least intimations of a new music and it can be heard in their compositions. Many of them are Christian and from different countries, some from small countries, Estonia, Latvia, of course some from Russia, some from the US, Norway, very, very interesting people who are composing works that are transcendent. So are your grandchildren musical? Um, no, they're into other things. My, the oldest one is uh, one of the best surfers in India and has received many, many awards and he has a surfing school. The other one's still finding his way in, in, uh, in the high school. Well, Narad, thank you very much for your time.